Do Fire Ants Fight Fires? How Animals Work in the Wild. Written by Etta Canner and read by Mr. C, the teacher, from easygradelessons.com. Animals have to work hard to survive. Do they go to the office to do their work? No! So how do animals work? Let's find out. Do fire ants fight fires? No! Fire ants make fires. In a way, they use a burning venom to sting their prey, the animals they eat. And watch out! It will also sting people and animals that walk on or near the mounds they build. Do vultures collect garbage? Yes, sort of. Vultures are nature's cleanup crew. They eat the flesh of dead animals that become stinky if left to rot and can spread disease. But don't vultures get sick from their rotten meals? Nope. Their stomach acids, liquids that help digest food, are strong enough to kill germs. Do damselfish grow food? Yes! Damselfish are picky eaters. That's why they work hard to take care of their favorite food, the red algae that grow in the coral reefs where they live. Damselfish use their teeth to weed out other algae they don't like and dump them away from their farms. They also protect their red algae crops from intruders. But missed shrimp are always welcome. Their poop helps the algae grow. Do moles build subway tunnels? No! But maybe they should. Moles can dig their tunnels three times faster than the machines that dig under our cities. Their wide front paws and long sharp claws are perfect for pushing away dirt and pressing it against the tunnel walls. For moles, creating maze-like tunnel homes is a snap. Do monkeys bake bread? No! Brown capuchin monkeys don't bake bread, but they do bake palm nuts. The tasty part of the nut is inside a tough shell. To get at it, the monkeys use their teeth to strip off the husk covering the shell. Then they leave the nut in the sun for about a week. Now the baked nutshell is dried out and can be cracked open with a heavy rock. Yum! Do spiders drive school buses? No! But female wolf spiders do carry their young around on their backs. A mother spider might have to lug around as many as a thousand spiderlings at a time. She does this for up to two weeks after the young spiders hatch. This way, a spider can protect her young from predators, animals that want to eat them, until they are strong enough to look after themselves. Do tapirs deliver packages? Yes, sort of. South American tapirs travel long distances, delivering seed-filled poop packages as they go. They wander from one part of the rainforest to another, eating fruit from trees. Along the way, they poop out the fruit seeds that are too hard to digest. This is the perfect way to help new trees grow. Seeds and fertilizer all in one package. Do pufferfish create art? Yes! Some male pufferfish create fancy designs in the sand on the ocean floor, and all they use to make these huge patterns are their small fins. A pufferfish will work all day and night for a whole week, so the ocean currents don't have a chance to destroy his masterpiece. Why does he work so hard? To attract a female who will want to lay her eggs in the center of the design. Do frogs act in movies? No! But spotted litter frogs do sometimes act like they're dead. Usually, these frogs try to hide or hop away from predators. But if they can't avoid the danger, they flip over on their backs with their legs in the air. Not only that, these frogs also smell like they're dead. Ew. No predator wants to eat a frog that might have died from a disease. 
Do dolphins teach? Yes. Atlantic spotted dolphin mothers teach their young calves how to fish. With their calf at her side, a mother dolphin uses her beak to disturb fish hiding in the sandy ocean floor. Then she shows her calf how to chase prey. Often, she lets the fish get away and starts all over again with another one. After all, practice makes perfect. Do prairie dogs lock up bad guys? No, but prairie dogs are always on the lookout for bad guys. Predators such as badgers, coyotes, eagles, ferrets, and snakes. As soon as they see one, they bark a loud alarm call to other prairie dogs. This warning describes how big the predator is, how close it is, and how quickly it's moving. The prairie dogs even use a special all clear call when the threat has passed. Do birds build apartment buildings? Yes! Sociable weaver birds build giant nests that can hold as many as 100 families. First, a small group weaves a large sloping roof out of twigs near the top of a tall tree. Then, pairs of birds use grass stems to add their own round, cozy nest to the underside of the roof. Finally, sharp, spiky straws are placed in the entrance tunnels to keep sneaky snakes away. Do mongooses babysit? Yes! Banded mongooses live in groups. That means there are plenty of babysitters around. While other members of the group are away searching for food, the babysitters protect the newborns from predators. After a month, each pup gets a special sitter. It teaches the pup how to look for insects to eat and protects it from danger. Back at the den, the sitter plays with the pup and grooms it. Whew! Babysitting is hard work. All the animals in this book have important jobs to do. What jobs do you have at home or at school? For more story time, go to earlygradelessons.com.